1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Now, the words used here in, in, the, in the original Greek are so much stronger than even these English words. And it's literally like saying the Spirit is tapping you on the chest with his finger and saying, look at this, know this. Which means this is bigger than just, well, let's just preach. Let's just, you know, I'm just going to preach to you and you're going to hear the word and it'll all be good. No, no, he said, no, you know, listen to this. He said, you have to know this. It would be as if he started shouting when he started saying this. And he says, now, the spirit, he said, this is God talking. And the Spirit speaketh specifically and expressly on this point. In what point? That in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith. Now, remember a while ago when we talked about departing from iniquity? What did you say the definition was? Leaving. Leaving, not having anything to do with, separating oneself from. Is that right? Here it says that there are going to be people in the last days. How many of you know we are in the last days? Matter of fact, here uh, Paul didn't even say last days. He said in the latter times. This is a different word used. Because the general term for last days is usually eschatology or eschatol, that kind of thing. This isn't that. This talks about a specific Time period, a kairos moment, you might say. He said, when you get to the end of time, when you're right up against it and, it's a, and, and the Lord is about to appear and you're right there and he is standing at the door waiting and he's ready to come and we're right there at the last. He said, that's these latter that times, that's what he's talking about. He said, in, that, in these latter times, he said, I'm telling you so specifically for you to be warned. He just said uh, before this, that all scripture is good for doctrine, for correction, isn't it right? For reproof, for instruction in righteousness. He said, listen, right at that moment, right when everybody is thinking, generally speaking, uh, wow, can it get any worse? He said, right at that time, here's what's going to happen. Some are going to depart from the faith. Now, it doesn't just say from faith. The definite article is there, the faith. This is talking about Christianity. It's talking about your relationship with God. It says at this point, things are going to be to the point where there are going to be people who will depart the faith. Now, I'm, today is not the day for me to get into the details of, you know, what most people call once saved, always saved, or uh, eternal. Well, actually, once saved, always saved isn't the doctrine. It's uh, unconditional eternal security is the actual doctrine that they talk about. But and I don't, I don't have time, obviously, to talk about that today. I don't you know, understand. I have no problem talking about it, and I will. I had one guy one time ask me, he said, do you believe in one saved, always saved? And I said, I'm not looking for a way out. <laughs> that, I mean, and he won't kick me out if I'm not looking for a way out. Amen? But it says some shall depart from the faith. 